Hi friends, welcome back. 15 years after the administration of ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo, he scrapped toll gates across the country. The federal government is making plans to reintroduce them. And I'm talking of Buari's administration. If you're just joining in, kindly take a moment to tap on that subscription button and also the red notification icon bell. Tap on it, it's free. So you'll be notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Babatunde Fashola, Minister of Works and Housing, he was former Minister of Power and he was unable to get that electricity power issue sorted. He disclosed this while briefing State House correspondents at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting. Fashola was joined by Lai Mohammed. His information counterpart said there is no law against toll plazas in the country. The sweeper are only looking for ways of making sure that Nigerians are not finding it easy. First, they introduced the CBN introduced some monetary policy, and um, that has to do with a certain amount of money that you put in your bank, you pay, and when you're getting it out, also you pay. This is terrible. We are talking about this economy that is not to that is not so strong economy that is not functioning properly per se the microeconomics in nigeria is not in the right room about apart from the elites they are the ones that will never be broke recession does not affect them he added that some of the logistics being worked out before the reintroduction include acquiring more lands that will provide up to 10 lane plazas so they can collect money from nigerians the agbiros do the same they collect money from transporters. They claim this is a form of tax. Now we are talking about increasing minimum wage. And um, people are expecting that the government will pay them 100,000 Naira and also find a way of subsidizing food. I mean, locally produced, locally grown food items, crops. So the market people will not increase the price of items because Salaries have been increased, but unfortunately, they are actually giving them stipends 30,000 naira, in which some states say they do not have that amount of money, so they will not pay. It's a shame. He added that some of the logistics being worked out are for a 10 lane plaza where we are in PPP and toll gate. Let me just clarify this impression about toll gates. He said, There is no reason why we cannot toll. There is no reason. There was a policy of government to abolish tolls or, as it were, dismantle toll plazas. But there is no law that prohibits tolling in Nigeria today, he said. We expect to return toll plazas. We have concluded their designs of what they will look like, what material they will be, what material they will be rebuilt with, what new considerations must go into them. What we are looking out now and trying to conclude is how the back end runs. And that is important because we want to limit significantly, if not totally, eliminate cash at the plazas while ensuring that electronic devices that are being used do not impede rapid movement. We are also now faced with the need to acquire more land to establish the width of the toll plazas because I believe we are looking at a 10 lane plaza so that there can be more outlets more cars to pass more automobiles so we need to acquire more land that is the work that is currently being done now so guys you think it is the appropriate thing for this administration to begin to extort money from nigerians motorists thereby increasing the amount of transport that you pay transport fare because the transport Taz will of course increase the amount that you pay because you're going to pay at the toll gate and touts agbiros the ones that work political talks that work for the government that extort money from the same transporters are also there why can't the government decide on toll gates and then stop agbiros from operating all over nigeria that is what I believe. If there's going to be toll gates, then let there be a stop to Agberos all over Nigeria. It went further to say, 
but let me also say that the expectation that collection of tolls will then produce the replacement cost of the road is perhaps not accurate because the traffic toll count that we have done on major highways does not suggest that there is enough vehicular traffic across all roads. He also spoke on measure being considered in order to avoid a situation where toll gates would compound traffic walls. The two or three heavy um, roads are the Lagos Ibadan, Abuja Kano, Abuja Lokoja. Now, Lagos Ibadan, the heaviest traffic you will find is between Lagos and Shagamu. It is also about 40,000 vehicles after Shagamu heading to Ibadan, drop to about 20,000. So, most of it has gone eastward, going towards Ondo Ore. And by the time you get to Bini, the number significantly drops, he said. It goes up again at the confluence where they are heading towards the Ninja. So you can see that it is not a static 50,000 all the way. Same thing with Abuja Kano's area after Kaduna. The traffic significantly drops. It's about 40,000 there too. But after Kaduna, it begins to drop by the time you get to Zaria. If you have driven to that road before, by the time you are driving between Zaria and Kaduna, you see how thin the recurring numbers of vehicles you meet is. And as you begin, to head closer between Kaduna and Abuja, the number of vehicles begin to increase. So I think it is important to have that at the back of your mind. Not all roads have those traffic counts. That's what he said. He also said, I also want to tell you and let you know that we are doing, what we are doing is not accidental. We've been deliberate and methodi method methodical. So collecting information to know what to do with, which place and what. Going to PPP, I say that is the context of people's arrogate PPPS to the right to toll no government can also no government can also toll that is the point that will happen without taking private sector fund the minister also disclosed that the council had approved additional 15.7 billion for two roads in the country now just look at this 15 point billions we are talking of billions for two roads in the country this is outrageous this is outrageous. The roads are Suleja, Mina, Lambata Road, Ibadan, Lagere, Ilesa Bypass for 15.7 billion. Wow. This is pathetic. Anyway, he said the two roads contracts approved on Wednesday were upward review from initially approved rates. On the 101 km Suleja, Mina, Lambata Road, he said the FEC also approved additional 12.6 billion while additional 3.165 billion was approved for Ibadan Lagere in lesser bypass. So guys, what was your take about this? I think 3 million for a specific um, kilometer. 3 billion, sorry, for a specific kilometer. Question, how much? What kind of road are these people thinking about? Is this just for the toll gates to be built? Or for the roads itself? They said they are going to extend it, expand it to 10 lanes. How much does it cut per meter, per kilometer? Of course, you know what they put there. Let us meet at the comment section. Are you a civil engineer? They said from that point to the other, 15.7 billion. I'm not talking of billions. Let us meet at the comment section below. And while you're that, may I remind you to kindly tap on that subscription button if you've not done so. Tap on it. And also the red notification icon bell. Tap so you'll be notified whenever new videos are <laughs>